Hey guys, since this video doesn't go up till tomorrow, I wanted to take the opportunity to wish all my American viewers a happy Thanksgiving. Whether you do something fancy with a day or not, I hope you guys have a great day. Now, on with the video. Welcome back to Let's Play Alien Isolation. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I need to get through this room, which is a pretty straightforward room, even though there's a, a reinforced working Joe inside. Stop that. See if this barbecue will uh, work. Why not ask me about Sebastopol's safety protocols? This could require my attention. <laughs> Don't you do that. You got greedy. Smashing A. That stings. It's kind of supposed to. Fuck, I've cornered myself. That didn't work. Probably because I set myself on fire there, but you know. Shit. Well, it does have eyes. Wait. Yeah. And bind synthetics. Maybe I can get behind him and uh, smack him about the head. Let's call it a first strike. Damn it, I did it again. He must have stepped over it. Are they resistant to everything? Fuck! That's really annoying. It's just the same fucking robot wearing a suit.
Hmm. How the fuck am I supposed to track a computer in there? Oh, I need to use a computer in there. It's one of those. Okay. So... I could nail him in the back of the head a couple times, run away, like hide in a vent. And then try and repeat the process as I return. That just sounds so fucking time-consuming. I could really go for a bolt gun. I don't want to receive another of these. Stop fucking weaponizing the tools. We're experiencing a heightened containment hazard level today. So, uh, you come here often? All visiting corporate representatives must report to their nearest synthetic. Slower, dumber version of the uh, the dance I did with Tommy. Okay. God damn it! The door closed. You always know a working Joe. Maybe it's not the same robot. I mean, they do have a different voice for some reason. Shit. Running causes accidents. Not running causes murder. Well, that's something accomplished, right? Ah, oh, Chief Porter. Afternoon location engineering, ID code 3193. Found a bunch of stuff from him. He's hitting me. working
I'm stuck in the damn corner, man. Leave me alone. Okay, hardly an ideal weapon. Bonk. Achievement unlocked. This should work. Use the bolt gun. You know what? I'll take it. Frank Herman, War in Totality. Looks like a fantasy novel. It doesn't sound like a fantasy novel, it just has the look, you know? Stop fucking weaponizing the tools. Rest in peace, Chief. Hmm. Chief, I'm heading down to reactor maintenance now. As requested, I've locked the shutters behind me. The code you'll need is 6832 Flores. Power delivery. We need you down to reactor maintenance. Flor oh, we need you down to reactor maintenance, Flores. I've gotten reports of localized brownouts all over the station. I know it's going to hell on the station. What? Oh, it's going to hell around here, basically. But I can't see anything up here that would be compromising power delivery. Can you run a full systems check down here? Chief. I'm coming to find you. Flores, if you're still there, find somewhere safe and wait. I'm coming down to you. We need to stick together now. Sanders is dead, and at least four of the other engineers are missing. One of those damn androids nearly took my head off, so I've scavenged some parts together to make a, we a weapon. It's got enough kick to punch a nice clean hole in one of these bastards. I'll be there as soon as I can. Chief. Well, it needs to be... Nope, just one at a time, too. This is not a crowd control weapon. I am, however, half tempted to sneak back to, uh... Apollo Corps. Oh no, that's right, they locked the vents behind me. Interesting to me that they didn't make the, uh, the bolt gun flash like everything else in this game. Sweet medicine. I didn't actually hit the thing. Alright. Let it be recorded for all time that I defeated one of those reinforced guys. I think that was the point of that room. <laughs> Can't believe I'm only playing on easy and it still feels like this. So I was actually kind of thrown off yesterday. Out of boredom, I watched a video, an old video, of some guys playing, uh... 
aliens, colonial marines. And they weren't taking it at all seriously, of course. So it's interesting to notice the aesthetic. half as good as this game, of course, because, uh, it's kind of, uh, an unrepentant disaster, all things considered. Sorry, it's not me. Yeah, nothing here worth picking up. Uh, any exclamation points I missed? No, just the one for the door, okay. You know, it's based on aliens, not aliens, so the motion tracker doesn't look like this, and it makes different noises. And, uh... You know, of course, they're carrying guns around. But I think, honestly, the thing that caught me the most off guard is that, uh, in that game, you can uh, cut doors open or seal them closed, you know, to, I don't know, stop enemies from chasing you or something. But, uh... Although it's, you know, definitely a lower quality model, it's clearly the same cutting torch that they use in this game. With a little screen blocking the uh, sparks and everything. Ricardo, you ever been to the reactor? I did some training in one. Seems like a lifetime ago. Can we go here instead? That, um, you know what? Yeah, even there, even with that guy there, let's do that. How do you misplace an object in the environment? Oh, there it is. We saw it. It had its back to me, walking down a corridor like it was the most natural thing in the world. I hid. But when I looked up, it wasn't there. I think it went into the floor. Maybe the ceiling. Sevastopol's a maze. It could be living anywhere. This must be what the marshals have been chasing. This shouldn't have been kept from me. Chief out. Okay. Huh. <laughs> Cigarette vending machine. How quaint. Pretty sure those are illegal in Canada. What? What are you guys doing here? Where's my flamethrower? These, these aren't mine! I had less ammo than this! It's still problematic because, uh... I saw it December 6th. Uh... 
And for just a second there, I thought I was going to climb up and I was going to be in the, uh, in the Apollo area so I could just bail. Um, as I was starting to say, this is still problematic for me because I don't have the flamethrower to chase off uh, any rogue Tommies that come after me. Okay, let's do it. Oh, that's dramatic. Well, that'll be two videos in a session that had a seam in them. Shit. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alien Isolation. <laughs> Let me cross this last little distance. And all hell breaks loose, I'm guessing. Later.